Greetings from Sawtooth Mountains, Sawtooth National Forest. This is in Idaho. Today, well, yesterday actually, I picked up my package in Twin Falls, Idaho from Harmony House. And they advertise a wide variety of freeze dried and dehydrated foods. And it occurred to me that for RVers without refrigeration, this might be a good way to still eat well on the road. Um, I decided to experiment. I have a friend, an RVer friend who lives in a van who swears by these things. Uh, she says it's good stuff, so I ordered. Here's the box it came in. And I got, when you order $100 worth, you get free shipping, so I ordered $100 worth. I got a uh, medley of freeze-dried fruit in jars, and I got the berry blend. So I got blueberries, strawberry, raspberry, and blackberry. So there are those. And they are in six ounce plastic jars. So here's the blueberry, and you can see it's, I mean, it's blueberries. They're not shrunken or anything, which is kind of surprising. I mean, they look full size. They've been freeze dried. And then I also got the gourmet soup mix, which is 12 different kinds of soup. Um, and you can get it like plain without the seasoning or the premium, which comes with the seasoning. And I opted for the premium. So, like, for example, here is my hearty Texas beef ish stew. Now, these are vegetarian, vegan. They have um, protein in them that's supposed to texture-wise resemble real meat. We'll see how that goes. But it's it's pretty simple ingredient-wise. I mean, it's beans and vegetables for the most part. And uh, you can, instead of cooking it all at once for the single RVer, you can portion it out and cook only little bits at a time so you don't have any refrigerated leftovers, which... I thought was pretty cool, so we'll see how this goes, but you see I got a variety here, maybe bean, this is corn chowder, and veggie chili, there's more in here, black bean chili, there's two more chilies, and this split pea, and Greek lentil. Here we have veggie soup, beef fish quinoa with mushrooms. Looks kind of nice. And last we got garden veggie chicken-ish soup and great northern bean stew. So there we go. Gonna try them and see how they taste. This should be interesting. I'll let you all know how it goes. Okay, I've put about a third of the very veggie chili, very delicious veggie chili, I guess, into my pot. And I let it soak in the water because that reduces the cooking time. So I've been letting it soak for about a half hour, and now maybe I won't have to cook it the full 10 to 15 minutes simmering. We'll see. And the rest of it I put in a Ziploc bag and I cut the label off the label package so I can see what I have. Uh, and I'm going to cook it and see how it goes. So this will be exciting. Well, I ended up simmering it for probably about 20 minutes because I like my veggies more cooked. But it seemed to have worked out. So I used about a third of a package. I added the recommended amount of water, and it is pretty thick, and there's a good amount of it here. This is definitely one meal for me. Um, so it's mostly smaller chunks. I suppose it cooks easier that way. The flavor is pretty good. Um, it's definitely got flavor. I tend to like things kind of spicy, so I'm probably going to add stuff to it. But the flavor is definitely edible. Um, you can add other things to it as well. Like you could put noodles or rice, or if you wanted meat, you could add meat in. Um, 
So there's that as well. But I'm pretty satisfied. So yeah, it costs about $55 for that set of 12 soups. And if each soup gets me three servings, that's a pretty good deal. So awesome.